righty. So after a leak from Katie fans, um, we now know a somewhat or we think we know a somewhat look at the layout for Kingdom King's Dominion's 2021 roller coaster. 2021, yeah. Um, so this is what is anticipated to be coming to King's Dominion in 2021. It is a B&M wing coaster, and I think the height is between 100 and 120 feet. That is what people are saying. Um, it's a super small layout, very X-Flight-ish, but I think X-Flight actually could have more to it than this. Correct me below if I'm wrong. Um, but nonetheless, it's exciting. I think a lot of people were expecting something massive for King's Dominion, and I think a lot of people need to take a step back and realize that King's Dominion isn't in the top tier of the chain. It is definitely a medium small park in the chain. And I think that they're bowing down to Busch Gardens Williamsburg and allowing and accepting the fact that Busch Gardens Williamsburg is going to be that coaster park now. Um, but nonetheless, this makes sense to me. It really does. It's going to be a great fit. Um, it probably has a 15 to $18 million price tag. Um, American would be my guess. And it's a nice fit. Again, I definitely think that um, Volcano is greatly missed. And I think the coaster community is going to be really upset about that. And I think, again, um, this is where I come in. And I say we all need to take a step back and realize, you know, not every park is going to be getting these massive world record breaking coasters. And there's other greater plans for the top tier parks. And to be honest, from what I know for Canada's Wonderland, um, having a smaller uh, wing coaster makes sense because Wonderland is rumored to be getting a world record wing coaster down the line. And it wouldn't make sense to spend all this money um, in the next four years on a world record wing coaster for King's Dominion if Wonderland's just going to come and take the record from King's Dominion. It's money not well spent. Um, and this makes sense for the park. And um, <laughs> I'm sitting here having a very difficult time analyzing this coaster because I know the coaster community is um, greatly upset. I think it was a little overhyped, you know, before the the leak of this. They were saying, oh, this is going to be a Busch Gardens Williamsburg 2021 killer. You know, the uh, shuttle giga coaster is not going to be as good as this. And I have to say the shuttle giga coaster, in my opinion, is definitely going to be better than this. It looks like Busch Gardens Williamsburg is just going to be the coaster park. And this is going to be more of a family park. Um, but that's okay. I come from a family park myself. Canada's Wonderland is definitely a family park. We have only top three coasters and the rest is not that great. King's Dominion has a stronger coaster lineup than Canada's Wonderland. And I think this is definitely a supporting coaster for those top tier coasters at the park. So um, uh, you just got to look at it that way. It's a great supporting coaster. Any more B&Ms at any park is a great ad. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, again, this isn't confirmed. Again, this is a rough draft that has been released, so things could have changed. This isn't final. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick analysis of my thoughts. Again, don't get too upset again. It's amazing. Um, you're lucky you're getting a B&M coaster. Coasters are definitely far and wide at parks now. So uh, just try and enjoy the best of it. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. And a huge thank you to Coaster Universe uh, for letting me use this in our video. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one. Bye.